Hello, good people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. Still looking at what transpired in the court uh, as at today in respect to Mazinam Dikano's trial. The justice in charge of the case, talking about Justice Binta Nyako, has made two observations and uh, he has placed a demand on DSS to carry out her instruction to the letter in respect to Kanu's appearance. You're going to see what um, the justice has demanded that they do for Kanu before tomorrow. But before we give you full details of that, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, Justice Binta Nyako of the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja on Tuesday, said she does not want to see Namdi Kanu on same clothes again. The judge therefore ordered the Department of State Services, DSS, to allow Kanu to have a change of clothes. Since he was extraordinarily renditioned to Nigeria, Kanu, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, had been coming to court in same ways. Kanu's case was on Tuesday adjoined following his complaint that the federal government failed to promptly serve him the fresh 15 count amended charges it brought before the court. Kanu, through his team of lawyers led by the senior advocate of Nigeria, Chief Mike Ozehome, further accused the federal government of denying him the necessary facility to defend the charge against him. The prosecution team, led by Mr. Mohamed Labaran from the Federal Ministry of Justice, said he was not opposed to the court granting a short adjournment to enable the defense lawyer to study the charge. However, before adjoining the case till Wednesday, till Wednesday trial, Justice Binta Nyako ordered the Department of State Services, ESS, to allow Kano to have a change of clothing. According to her, she said, I don't want to see him in these clothes again. This one is almost off-white. Also, make sure that you allow him to exercise. Those were the demands of uh, Binta Nyako. I mean, this had been what most people have been asking. Does it mean that because he was um, brought in extraordinarily, rendition to nigeria he can't even wear any other clothes apart from you know the fendi clothes that he was wearing since it, it's really it's as if he's um, maybe a criminal that was arrested in the in, in, when he was trying to steal something from maybe ministry of justice or something this is someone whom you have not even confirmed anything about him he's just every allegation level against him is has not been confirmed so why are you giving him a kind of treatment that is so inhuman? He has his fundamental human uh, right, and those fundamental human right is meant to be respected. At least it's respected to, you know, be given that right of, you know, gyming and also, you know, changing his clothing so that he will appear like a human being. We've gone past the time of, you know, uh, 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 slavery, where people appear as if they are slaves. We are all equal in the eyes of the law. We just have one small issue here and there, and that's why he is um, the way he is. That is being kept under the custody of the DSS. Outside, that is a human being like every other person. Even personally, I was troubled always seeing him uh, appearing on the same clothes. You keep seeing him every day. He comes with the same clothes and all of. I don't even know if they allow him to use perfume or body spray or something, except maybe his people will always bring it for him. I mean, these things should be provided. Let's not look at this case as if it's a case of one heavy insurgent that the whole world have been waiting for, and thank God he has been gotten, and all of that. It's a case of, you know, issues um, called, this, this is what we should call, you know, uh, headers, um, farmer clash you know it's not something that should require being overly stringent i'm um, trying to make him feel as if he is 
far below human beings and all of that. Thank God for the high spirit that he has, despite the fact that he has been deprived of a lot of things, but we still saw him, you know, looking very happy and uh, still being, still very sane, you know. I could still remember some time ago when it was reported that he has been deprived seeing the light of the sun, that he's kept in a solitary place all alone. That, for many, is mental torture, you know. There's nothing wrong for you to at least enable him to watch television, allow him to read his Bible, allow him to read books and all of that. It, it will not cause him to disappear. You understand? Because if it, well, he was a fetish man, say, actually, he's one of these same mother that was arrested and put into prison. One may be scared. Maybe by the time he begins to carry a book and start reading, he will just hold, in, hold his nose and disappear into the tin and will put us in trouble. This one, reading does not cause any harm. It's a way of stabilizing one's mental, you know, status. It's a way of equipping and improving one's mental status or capacity. So for you to deprive him, you know, no books and all of that, it, it won't change the narrative, you understand. Uh, it is good for him to at least be sane enough and also, you know, stay without any form of uh, mental battering and all of that. It, it's really serious. I feel that um, the DSS will do the needful. I, I, and, you know, this thing would have come up long ago. I wonder why, you know, Justice Nyako didn't even look at this. I mean, you've got to look at the person and then a young person, a young man, you know, even if he's up to 50, but he's still a young man and he's still intending to live for long. So why not give him the best of treatment and let's just handle the case based on the judicial process than treating him as if, you know, he's from somewhere and uh, he doesn't deserve to leave and all of that. I, I'm so grateful that this woman has decided to take that bull step and let's see if, you know, that uh, court order will be honored because uh, already Nigerians are screaming over the fact that court orders will be given but there is no you know step towards honoring it. It, it 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 clearly shows that we are still at a very fragile level of democracy at least every time court orders are given it is meant even if it doesn't please you as uh, the one in charge or as a security operative but because it's a court order is expected that it should be respected because it is uh, you know the only way that the common man on the street can get what he wants you know if it is uh, passed it should be respected but right now let's let, let's get to let's, let's just look at what nigerians have to say and this person here says i this, this is not what we want what we want is the unconditional release of our Biafran leader. Hmm, you see, people are talking there. Another person here says, For me, this issue has gone past this stage of telling him to change his clothes. Why didn't you order him things from June feet when he was brought in? Why didn't you order him, order them to change his clothing? Another person here says, This is almost seven months or so. He has been wearing the same clothes. Why the pressure suddenly? I hope nothing is... <laughs> Nigerians will not cease to amaze you. All right, that's where we like to leave it. Go to our comments.